This short presentation introduces the concept of value at risk using components from the corresponding e-learning module found under Optimal MRM's online training service. FAR is one of the most commonly recognized measures of trading portfolio risk in financial organizations globally. It is expressed as a threshold number that indicates the maximum risk of loss at a set statistical confidence level. For example, a one-day 99% portfolio VAR of 1 million indicates that, on the downside, the portfolio would be expected to lose not more than $1 million on any given day in 99 trading days out of 100. And VAR reflects the volatility of returns of individual investments and the correlation between them. VAR is typically used to measure the risk of loss in trading portfolios. It can, however, be used in a non-traded book setting. A bank's mortgage loan book is an example of a non-traded banking book with a potential for significant interest rate risk. Economic loss measures the risk of loss as though the portfolio had been accounted for on a fair value basis. The risk of banking book economic loss due to interest rate volatility can be measured using VAR techniques. VAR measures the potential loss or change in the market value or fair value of a portfolio. VAR does not measure the risk of loss from investment positions being incorrectly valued. A number of headline losses that have occurred in recent history were due to positions being incorrectly valued. The implicit assumption behind VAR and any other risk measure is that base positions are correctly marked to market. For a book that is not marked to market and which uses VAR to measure risk, the implicit assumption is that there are adequate valuation reserves in place. The attraction of VAR is that it represents potential portfolio loss as a single number. Regulators are beginning to rethink VAR as a basis for setting regulatory capital requirements. The setting of capital based on a stressed VAR measure under Basel is an example of coming changes that will influence the setting of regulatory capital. VAR will likely remain a core component of an integrated set of risk measures, including risk sensitivities and stress scenario risk. In an historical simulation VAR, portfolio investments are revalued, or the mark to market is recalculated, as if they had gone through the historical rates and prices, typically over a one to two year period. Each instance of portfolio revaluation is subtracted from the current portfolio value in order to generate a distribution of portfolio mark-to-market changes. These mark-to-market changes are ranked from highest loss to highest gain. VAR corresponds to a ranked mark-to-market change at a given percentile. It is possible to organize the individual daily simulations into a histogram based on different ranges of simulated PL outcomes. As expected, this histogram of simulated PL outcomes results in a bell-shaped diagram. Sorting the observations from greatest loss to greatest profit facilitates the assignment of a percentile number to each observation. The Monte Carlo simulation VAR works in much the same way as in historical simulation with respect to full revaluation of investments and ranking of mark-to-market changes. The Monte Carlo approach diverges from historical simulation by using randomly generated risk factor changes instead of historical ones to simulate portfolio mark-to-market changes. Parametric VAR explicitly uses historical risk factor volatility and correlation applied to investment positions in a close-form solution based on modern portfolio theory. Parametric VAR uses risk sensitivities instead of revaluation to estimate an investment position's P&L. And it marries risk sensitivities with elements of modern portfolio theory to measure portfolio VAR. Optimal MRM invites you to visit its store online to learn more about this and other available market risk e-learning modules.